who this week visited uh, the highest try scorer in Welsh league history and gave him the Morecambe and Wise treatment. Dream. Morning, Lenny. Fancy a cuppa? What is the secret <laughs> of being a try scorer? What, what do you, I mean, obviously pace would help to finish them well, up, but what that, that, have that, an eye that helped in my early, early career, <laughs> that's how much it helps now. I think you're just reading the game and, 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 and timing your run for when to, and putting yourself in the right position for, um, to capitalise on any opportunities you do have. But playing, having good teams who are willing to distribute the ball with yeah. an intent to get the ball wide to you, put you in space, give you one-on-ones, and then if you've got speed and, and other attributes, then, uh, then you're always going to back yourself one-on-one. On one. 1998 was a big year for you. First of all, you had a big cup run with Ebervale, in which you did particularly well. Talk us through that. Uh, we reached the Swaylet Cup final, uh, where we narrowly lost to Erlen uh, Nethley uh, in that final. Uh, that season was particularly promising. I think that year and my two years with Pontypool were probably the, my most enjoyable. Um, but it's always enjoyable when you're winning. <laughs> So this week we're in Division 4 East and we're featuring two sides who last season were moving in opposite directions. Cumbran came down, Blynavon have come up. And this week we'll see if Lenny Woodard can add to his tally of tries. Nice one. <laughs> nice. Lovely. Oh, right. How did you come to uh, to get Lenny here? Well, through contacts in the through the rugby community, we became aware that uh, Lenny was interested in uh, introducing himself and getting involved with with coaching. Um, we had a need here at, uh, following last season to maybe re-energize re the the players. Uh, and attracting somebody like Lenny, I think, served a number of purposes. It gave us a, a, a fresh impetus on the coaching side and uh, gave the, the, the boys here, uh, I think, a, a lot of motivation and, and, and enthusiasm. Any boy, we've seen you as a proud father at home this morning. You must be particularly proud of these boys after that. Yeah, they dug in well. You know, we kept a clean sheet um, and defended for long periods of the game. Uh, I'm happy to get a bonus point victory at home. That's what that's the standard that we're setting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I tell you what, I've still got the magic. I can move. Well, that's Cumbrand done, Rich. Indeed, that's Division 4 East, nicely taken care of. Thanks for your messages so far. Where are we going next week? Well, as always, that's entirely up to you. Send us your text, send us your emails, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, Rick O'Shea's tentacles spread